Prayers for Bobby is a beautiful story based on the book written by Leroy F. Ahrens. Bobby's relatives were always family oriented until one day he comes out to his brother that he's gay. Since then, his devout Christian overbearing mother tries to convince him he can be cured, finally realizing this is who he is, and his mother not willing to accept it. The ignorance from his mother and the rest of the family left him to feel there's no way out, either being forced to live a life he doesn't want, trying to be straight, pressuring her son further and further, making him feel cornered with nowhere to turn or go, making him ashamed of his life, and not living up to his mom's standards. He finally gives up all hope for his life and his mom, or their relationship ever changing. He then acts on his emotions, taking his own life. The traumatic experience that comes with losing a son eventually ends up changing her, opening up her mind and heart, learning to listen with what she feels instead of what she is told. All of the arguments, and separation from each other, all because of one's misunderstanding. It's not worth not being there for your son or any family member. The ones that are closest to us, their words hurt the most. No actions or words should be taken lightly. From the very beginning, Bobby tried to commit suicide because he knew how his family would react, especially his mother. When somebody love reaches out to you, take that moment. Try to listen. If you don't understand or agree, at the very least, don't shut them out. People live different lives. And it's their right to love as much as yours. This remarkable, heartbreaking, and inspiring true story is brought to us by Lifetime. Unfortunately, in the gay community, a lot of people go through these experiences, and nobody should be made to feel alone from someone who raised and loved them. It's not a sickness. It's not something that can be cured. It's who you are. Unfortunately, some don't realize it until it's too late. And that's the whole point of the story, to tell those who don't understand to maybe take a closer look. Look past your religion and disbelief. As a parent, family member, or friend, there's so many ways that you can end up saving a life. The director, Russell McCulley, takes the film very seriously, as it should be, and nobody should take such a situation lightly. The film's lead actress is Sigourney Weaver. She really embodies the character of Mary Griffith, making you at first despise her as a mother, but then later you feel a great amount of sympathy for her as she realizes her mistakes, and no one's perfect, everybody makes mistakes, trying to change her son because he didn't agree with it, but as a mother taking her son's suicide into action, both Bobby and Mary Griffith helped change the world, making it as compassionate and loving as we know it today. This movie is very important for any parent to watch, and anyone struggling with their self-worth can relate to the story. Luckily, my mom accepted me for who I was and was proud I came out. But my father hated the idea of gays and thought it was disgusting and unnatural. But given how much him and my mom both loved me, after a year later, he finally accepted me and welcomed me with open arms. So I believe if he can come around, other parents can too. And it's always worth being who you are. Sigourney Weaver was nominated for the Screen Actors Guild Award, the Golden Globe Award, and the Emmy Award. We were nominated for the Producers Guild of America Award. The film itself was nominated for the Emmy Award as Outstanding Made for Television Movie, but the most personally fulfilling came from the gay community itself, which honored us with their prestigious GLAAD Award. Oh my goodness. Um... Wow, I'll just put that down. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, thank you. You know, um, these guys are the real heroes. Chris Taff and Daniel Sladek and David Permit, who's not here tonight, spent 13 years trying to find a home for this movie to be made. They're the real heroes tonight. I just want to say um, how honored I am uh, and have been to be part of Prayers for Bobby uh, to tell Mary Griffith's story. Um, she was so generous to me, really speaking to me so plainly, uh, mother to mother, about the mistakes she'd made. And it was such a great honor to be involved in her book with the great late Leroy Ahrens, um, and uh, such an honor for all of us to be a part of it. And I just want to say, I love you. You are on the front lines fighting for our common humanity, which is the glory of all of us being who we are. And thank you so much for honoring prayers for Bobby. 
2009 movie is not the best quality, but it's lifetime television film, so um, as far as the editing, it's a little choppy here and there, but the important part is obviously the story. It's a good one, so it's worth it. These four you echo, amen, in your heart.